everyone, it's time for another video about the muffling technique. In the first video, I gave you some example of exercise that you could use to develop this super useful technique that every harpist should incorporate in their playing because it is life-changing. It is musical life-changing. It's so much better. All the harmonies are clean and we really want that, to have clarity in the sound for the ear. Anyway, today we'll give you a practical example where I can use it and how. First of all, I want to tell you this thing that you probably know, but if you don't, it's better if you do. So, if you play up here in the harp, and if you muffle here, the harp still goes. If you play up here, and you muffle down there, then the harp stops. Why? Because they are the bass strings which ring overall and these bass strings is the one that you have to stop with the muffling technique. Well, the first example I want to give you, it's a very typical cheesy harp piece, so melody and arpeggio. I'm making this up, but still it's something like that. As you can see, the left hand has octave, fifth, and octave again. And then it goes to, with the same pattern to another chord. What do I do? I brush, I brush. If I have, for example, a C chord, and then I have to go on the F, which is here, what do I do? I brush this, this C, and then I land on the F. And then I land on the B, for example. And then brush. Anyway, this is very useful when you have this kind of arpeggiated pattern. Brush with the fourth finger gently. It's enough to brush only the lower part uh, because you don't want uh, holes in the sound. If I did like this, for example. see it's too much a bre break <laughs> you don't want that just the lower note is enough and that will solve your soup problem which is gonna be created after three or four bars or even less if you don't stop anything stop the bass brush it the second example i want to tell you is the feuille de ton by hasema if you look at the left hand anything even if here it's another chord just because the bass is the same I'm interested in the bass so for the first uh, five six bars I'm not gonna do anything I liked and now here with a B boom open hand so I can stop the G and then this is a bit hard when you have a B and then a C you have to practice this, so practice with the open hand. Brush from below and land on the C. It takes a bit of a practice not to have the hole and not to have the buzz, but you can get there. So it would be like this. Next example is by Handel. What do we have here? We have repeated chords. Yeah. And uh, we have the bass in a sequence, so G, A, so brush, B, brush, C, brush, A, G, and 
deep. Okay, well, do you know what I do with this piece? I don't play them. There is so much music which sounds amazing on the harp. Why should you play an arrangement that is super hard to sound nice and legato? It's awkward, buzzing is there. No, just get a singer, get a cembalo, and you're much better playing with that. I avoid playing these pieces. Why should I give myself una zapata sui piedi? How do you say that in English? Anyway, for me, this doesn't work. It's a terrible arrangement. I don't play it. Next example, though, it's fantastic. And it's the second movement of Handel Concerto. In the first section, you're covered by the other instruments. I just muffled the last two notes. These two. These two. With my tongue. My big brush. And now here though, I muffle everything. Have a look at my left hand. didn't play that for maybe 15 years. Here it's very, very important when you do. Always to muffle, because if you don't muffle, it just sounds terrible. <laughs> and then hear the bass. Every time you play the note with the second finger, then place the thumb. Well, that's it for today. I just wanted to give you some practical example why this technique is super useful and I really hope you can use it and integrate in your pieces. I'm gonna be much more present on the internet in the next few weeks because I'm very, very happy to tell you that we are going to have our third child and so I was super behind with work because I was feeling nauseous and tired and all the things. But now that I'm well over my first trimester, I'm started to feeling better with more energy. So stay tuned i'm going to upload much more videos let me know the topic you want me to cover let me know how this muffling technique works and i'll see you in my next video ciao thank you for subscribing like can't you see me coming can't you see me now so as you see the left hand has octaves fifth and octaves oops <laughs> octaves fifth and octaves <laughs>